Today we're talking about how you can prepare very simply for the event that could be quite possible in the near future of an EMP, which is an electromagnetic pulse. So stay tuned. It sounds like something that could just be in a movie, but I'm telling you within our lifetime, we could actually experience something like an electromagnetic pulse or EMP. You may have heard about it before and it's worth doing some more research on because they are a very real threat. They can happen naturally by like a solar flare from the sun, but they can also happen through man-made means. And there are several real enemies to the United States that already have documented proof that they have the capability and um, everything that's needed to attack us with an EMP. What it would do is destroy us electronically. If there was um, an EMP that was set off near the power grid, it would literally take the whole power grid down and it could affect not just one city or one state, but actually um, kind of hopscotch all the way across the nation if part of the power grid went down or at a, a power plant like a dam or a, a nuclear power plant here in America. So there, it's a threat that's worth finding out about. It shouldn't scare you. You should just have means to prepare yourself ahead of time and then have the skills to know what to do in the event that the power did go out for more than just an hour or two like some of us have experienced. So I want to show you just a very simple way that you can kind of prepare ahead of time, at least on a small scale. I have ordered from Amazon and I love these. This is called a blackout bag. It's a Faraday shield bag and there are different versions of these. Yours does not have to have the same name. It doesn't have to look exactly like this, but the principle is the same. It's a bag that you can seal and it's metal uh, in its in its making and it, and it has a tight seal on it. Now, I've done research on these and as nice as they are, really the ideal is for you to get multiple sizes like you see I have here and put your electronics that you need protected in the smallest one that fits that electronics. Right here in this I have a little battery um, juice converter inside this one. But once I put it in the smallest bag, I'm going to slip it in a larger bag so it's multiple times there are layers that uh, protect it. So I'm putting this inside here, making sure each bag is sealed accordingly. By doing this, you're giving a uh, shield for those electronics so that in the event of a radio um, magnetic type field, these are protected from that. You have heard other means used like the microwave and if you have a very good sealing refrigerator where you can have metal all the way, touching metal all the way around for a shield, that's good. Um, some people make a homemade Faraday cage and we'll do another video on that. But you can make a homemade Faraday cage out of a very well sealed, fully metal uh, cookie tin or something like that, like this one, where you're you're putting your electronics within it and then shielding them inside of that with a couple of layers of um, shielding before the metal is able to take the largest brunt of the electromagnetic pulse. Now, I love these big ones. Just so you know, I want you to see how big this is. This is a great big one. This is perfect for a laptop. And I would put two of them. I'd put one laptop in this, I'd fold it over and I'd put it in another bag so that it had multiple layers for a laptop. And then the last thing I would just remind you is, say you put something like a 500 gigabyte small hard drive like this into an EMP bag, make sure that you remember to also add the cords for it because anything like this that has very fragile electronics in it can be affected and rendered useless. So what good is this going to be if you don't have cords that are also protected? So make sure that when you put something like this into an EMP bag to protect it, you're also getting the cords along with it. You can put batteries, small electronics, anything, just an extra set of anything that you need on a daily basis uh, in a bag like this and then in a second bag to protect it in the event of an EMP. 
Now I haven't covered all of the scope and range of how to prepare, nor have I told you all of the details about electromagnetic pulses, but I hope you'll take time to do some research, prepare yourself and your family in the days to come for the event of an EMP because it truly could happen in your and my lifetime and we'll be just fine if we've prepared ourselves mentally, spiritually, and physically for that. All right, have a great day. If you will, like, comment, share this video with others, and we'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye for now. Hey there, before you go, I wanna share with you a wonderful promise from God's word. In Ephesians chapter six, verse 10 and 11, it says, finally be strong in the Lord and the strength of his might Put on the whole armor of God that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. Now go spread the word.